Hello, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I am a cruelty free YouTuber that loves makeup. And today I am starting a new theme week, sorry for you who doesn't like that, but I have talked about that I want to use my palettes more this year and I want to do like themed weeks. So I did a lethal week a couple of weeks ago, can't even remember when it was, but not that long ago, so I will leave that up here, that playlist, and today, as you've seen, it's going to be a menagerie week. And I got five palettes from menagerie, so it's coming five videos this week. I don't know which days they're coming, but <laughs> this week it's coming five videos. And uh, I'm going to start with the first one, this is Dragon Child. This is discontinued, but I think you can buy the shadows like singles. And if you have seen other videos that I have done with this, this is not my favorite palette from Nardi. I have a little trouble of working with this one. I know now how to work with it, but it was a struggle to get there. So the palette looks like this, and today I think I'm going to be like in this region. I don't know, but I think. I have done a palette bingo. Free looks one palette and the first impression is uh, I can leave all the videos down there. Down there, no the description. So yeah, I think we just get started with this look. The first shade I'm going to take is Virm, this one. And I'm going to take it on my lid and also a little bit up in my crease because my plan is to take Virm and Lucky on my lid and then deepen it down with Smoke Him Out, I think, or Cave Dweller. But I think I will take Smoke Him Out. I don't know if I will use Stone Drake, we will see, but I will start with Virm. And this palette, this is not the beginner friend palette <laughs> because the shadows are a little bit tricky to work with. I don't feel that the other palettes from Menardry are the same. The thing that is a little bit special with this one is you can't like blend or like taking a really fluffy blending brush up in the crease. It's not a good idea if you want the colors like to be intense. And that was my main problem because I used these as I used my other shadows when I first tried it and some of them work really good but it's like this one or both the greens and the purple I had a problem with and I didn't use any of them in my first impression so my first impression was really good but then I came to problems when I was going to do my free looks one palette but as you see, this works really good, but now I'm working with a really stiff and compact little eyeshadow brush. But the pigmentation is there, it is workable, but you might need to use some techniques that you normally don't use. It is at least that for me. First I was thinking if I was going to take the other purple to blend out my crease, but I actually think that this works. I think this is like blended enough. And that was quick. It's been such a long time since I played with this palette, like I don't even remember. And I feel with Menagerie, right now they do not ship um, to all countries anymore. Or I don't know if they have shipped to all countries in the world, but they do not ship to Sweden right now. I'm a little bummed about that. Um, but at the same time, right now I am having a no-buy, so... But I really hope that they will open. I think they ship to... You. UK and the Netherlands and might one other country in Europe. So something like this and I think I actually want to go in with 
smoke him out uh, this one just to deepen down my outer corner a little bit and also take it a little bit in my crease and what I can remember this is pretty dark I'm just going to tap it off and I hope yeah, this lies really good on top of the vroom so <coughs> So for the wrist, wrist, for the rest of my lid, I want to go in with this Lucky, and the shimmers in this palette is a little bit like flaky, but at the same time moussey. I don't know if you can. I don't know if I can show you, but I want to have a glitter glue because I don't want this to fall. On my face and I want it to be so okay for the rest of my lid I'm going in with lucky this one and I'm going to take a glitter glue because this is not hard to handle okay a little bit hard to handle so I'm going in with my glitter primer from NYX just to cut a half cut crease because I am afraid that I'm going to have lucky all over my face and all over my clothes as well if I don't cut it and I want it to be really like intense and drag it out to the purple and then I will tap it with my finger just like in the line of the purple and the other one so it hopefully won't get a sharp edge and then I'm going to take Lucky and I hope yeah, this brush works for this. And just put this on here. So, and then I'm going in with Virm again, the purple one, just to blend it a little bit. So, I think I'm happy like this so I my battery lamp is blinking so I will change the battery fix my base cut this crease as well and then I come back and we're going to finish up the under eyes together on my under eyes I think <sighs> I almost dropped the palette on my under eyes I will take Virm and then might go in with smoke him out and then pop lucky in my inner corner so the same thing that I like always do to my under eyes. So I'm going to tap this off and I'm a little bit afraid that this is going to be super intense on my under eyes. Because this brush is so compact and stiff and it feels like I'm dragging the smoke out a little bit. Nothing against that because then I might don't need to go in with that. And I'm going to take my pinky to put on Lucky. I hope it will work. Yes. It works really, really good with the finger. So for my waterline, I actually think I want to go in with something purple. Or do I want to take something pink? Or maybe I should take... <laughs> I think this one. This is Amethyst Hour from Colourpop. I love this color so I'm going to pop on my mascara and a lippy. For my lips I took one of Minari's liquid lipstick. This is in Aptasia. I, I don't know if it's pronounced like that and I topped it off with a shine lip liquid. It's a gloss from Body Shop in Orange Lollipop and it felt like the lips made this look a little bit more grungy and dark but yeah I, I like this look actually and I had no problems at all with the shadows but if I would have worked with any other shadows even from Minardry I wouldn't have used the same brushes but I really like it so I took Virm, Smoke em Out and Lucky. I'm really happy with this look. I think it looks really good. And I hope that you will really like my Minardi week. 
tomorrow or the next video maybe i should show you which palettes i have and i am of course going to take them in order so the next one is the feral then we have the whale song then my least favorite that is killer pearl and the last one is pastel pop so that is what we have to look forward to this week i am most excited with pastel pop i think whale song i've used a lot feral i've used a lot but pastel pop i think i've used it once i think i might have taken some of the shadows to combine with other palettes but just pastel pop alone i have used once so it's going to be really fun to play with it more so yeah i really hope that you're looking forward to this week i love doing this because i think it's fun to play with the palettes again but i think feral is going to be a little bit hard because or also the whale song because i play with those like i've done free looks one palette i have done palette bingos i have done first impressions i've used them like on their own and i want to do like a look that i haven't done before but yeah <laughs> this is what we have to look forward to this week and I hope you will join me. So if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you tomorrow or maybe... Is it going up on Tuesday? I don't know. And maybe we'll see you on Wednesday or on Thursday. We will see. But yeah, I <laughs> hope you liked it. And bye. I think it's so strange to end this videos. Because I don't know what to say. I hope you liked it. I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.